What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and today I'm going to show you 10 plus really cool iPhone tricks that you probably didn't know you could do on your iOS device. Let's get started. Okay, so some of these tricks you probably are going to know if you've been around my channel for quite a bit, but there's a lot of these that you probably won't know as well, so hopefully you learned something today. These are some pretty cool tricks that I think you should learn. So for the first trick, iOS 11 is coming out soon, it's going to have a bunch of new emojis, so I'm going to show you how to get those early. So you want to do is tap the first link in the description, go ahead and drag down and copy all of these emojis. So just go ahead and copy them, and then from here you can go to your notepad and then paste them, and now you have all these emojis saved to your notes. So you want to go ahead, it's like if you want to send it in a message, go ahead and copy that specific emoji, and you can paste it inside of iMessage or wherever you are. This next one is also really cool. If you're listening to music and you want it to stop at a specific time, you can go ahead and set the timer, and then here you can tap on when timer ends. Rather than choosing alarm or something, you can tap on stop playing, and that will actually stop playing your music when the timer ends. So this is pretty good if you're going to sleep or something. This next one is if you tap the second link in the description, you can save these really cool wallpapers that will actually remove the dock on your iPhone. I really like the way these look and you do not need a jailbreak for this so it's pretty cool. So a lot of people like to edit photos on their iPhone and now Apple has a bunch of really cool photo editing features. So if you tap on the photo you want to edit and tap on the three sliders, you can go ahead and tap on like this color wheel icon. You can get really specific colors and contrast and saturation, all that really cool stuff. And if you tap on the three bars at the top, you can tap on markup and then you can draw on the picture. You can also add text, although this really isn't the best for making thumbnails. This is just basic photo editing stuff, but it's good that they have it because it gets the job done. This next one is if you want to see timestamps on a message more specifically, just swipe over and you'll see that when that exact message was sent. If someone's calling you and you want to hang up without them knowing, just tap the volume button and your phone will be silent, but they'll still be calling you. So it's really cool for them not knowing. If you want to hide a photo, go ahead and copy that photo and then delete it and then go into the message app and then go ahead and paste that photo in there and then from here tap on the share icon and you can go ahead and scroll over and tap on lock note and then from here you can use touch ID to lock and unlock this note but it's deleted from your photo library so no one will know. If you're in the calculator and you accidentally make a typo or something while you're typing in an equation, swiping back will get rid of the last number you typed, so it's pretty cool rather than typing all clear and having to start over, this will actually save some time, so just swipe back. This next one is pretty cool, so if you want more storage on your iOS device, what you want to do is go ahead and download a game that has more storage than your iPhone can hold. So you can see this game is 2 gigs. About It's actually 1.2 gigs, but I have about 200 megabytes left. But now that it's downloading, I have 500 megabytes total, almost 600. So what this does is when the app is downloading, it clears RAM. Here you want to tap on the third link in the description and then copy the text. And if you paste it inside of a folder, you will no longer see the name of the folder. And it can leave a really nice clean look. When using Touch ID, if you use three fingers as one, you can actually make it more accurate. So using three fingerprint slots will actually make your fingerprint scanner more accurate when unlocking your iOS device. If you go into iMessage settings, go ahead and tap on keep messages for, and then tap on 30 days, and every 30 days it will delete old messages. So that's pretty cool. It'll delete messages past 30 days. Anyways, this is going to be about it for today. I got a bunch of really cool videos coming out, so stay tuned for those, and as always, peace.